Hi guys, so I just came back from Spain. I was on a conference in Valencia and it was my first time in the city, although I have spent quite a lot of time in Spain in my life. And Spain has a very special place in my heart because um, I'm only part Russian and also part Spanish and I feel kind of connected to the culture and to the country. And so I wanted to show and tell you a little bit about my trip, although I didn't have really much time in Valencia because it was a conference and I was there for work, but any free second that I got, I just went around and I took some pictures and I took some videos. So I think that it might be interesting for some of you. So let's start. First of all, Valencia is third biggest city in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona and it also is quite a touristic attraction and actually for a good reason it is a very very old city it has quite some sites and a good combination of the Mediterranean Sea awesome weather and beautiful nature and amazing architecture so it's quite a touristic attraction if you ask me my biggest impression of Valencia was oranges there are orange trees everywhere and they bloom and fruit at the same time and it smells and looks so amazing that I just couldn't get enough of it. There is also some lemon and uh, tangerine trees but I think that Valencia is most famous for its oranges. Unfortunately they are not that tasty. I found a couple just laying down in one park and I tried them and they were not that good. The city center is incredibly beautiful. It's so posh and polished and it has this most beautiful architecture with this little uh, curvy balconies and uh, awesome purple blooming trees and it smells like flowers and it is really really so beautiful. Also some architecture is influenced by Muslim culture, especially the two uh, markets, big markets that they have. Uh, there is a lot of colorful tiles and sort of decoration really reminds me of Middle East. Those markets are huge and there are so many things like cafes and they sell everything that you can think of fresh fruits vegetables my personal favorite was dry fruit the historical part of the city took my breath away the architecture is just beyond any description i cannot do it justice with my words so i will rather show you the images and i mean the fact that people have created such beauty really gives me hope in humanity. The sea is separated by an old riverbank which is now transformed into a park because there used to be a lot of floods and so they kind of moved the river a little bit further away from the city and now there is a huge green park that people can enter at any time of the day and there are some music venues and some museums in there and it's just a big amazing place to spend your time you can ride a bike there or just walk people come there with their children to play and there are so many beautiful bridges that go across this park and so yeah that's also definitely a must see and in the beginning of this park close to the ocean there is a, a science museum which is super modern and it looks a little bit futuristic like a spaceship i'm not really a big fan of such architecture but i think that it's also worth seeing i didn't go inside because i didn't have much time but i'm pretty sure that it's very amazing. I also went to the seashore one day but it was too cold to actually swim but I haven't been to a sea in a very long time so I was kind of happy to see that and the venue where we were was one of the most beautiful ones that I've ever seen. We spent most of our time outdoors and for example the poster session was held in a big greenhouse surrounded by plants and flowers and it was so incredibly beautiful. There were also some stray cats around so I enjoyed playing with them although some of them were pretty aggressive and overall it was a super enjoyable experience. So I will finish this here and thank you guys so much for watching. I am almost off to my next adventure and I will take you with me on some of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I love you guys very very much. Uh, see you next time and be nice humans.